Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-Level Further Maths. Here we're looking at finding the shortest distance between two parallel planes. Now we're assuming here they're not going to intersect, um, so we can answer questions from exercise 9f. So, uh, the question is, find the shortest distance between the two planes r dot 3 minus 1, 4 equals 15 and r dot 3 minus 1, 4 equals 6. So we can tell that these are parallel planes because the perpendicular to the vectors is going to be the same, but the distance away from the origin, um, which is in proportion to 15 and 6, is going to be different. Okay, so this is effectively the problem that we've got going on here. We've got one plane above another plane, and we want to find the shortest distance between these two planes. Now, what we're going to consider is attaching a line from the origin straight through both of these planes. And given that they're meeting at a right angle and everything is, is at a right angle, we can just use this normal vector here of 3 minus 1, 4. So what we're effectively going to be doing in this problem here is calculating the distance between the origin and one of the planes, the origin and the other plane, and then working out what the difference is between those two distances from the origin. So it's just going to be a question of doing two, um, two parts of this question, which is work out a distance from the origin, and then one subtracting the other. So... Just a recap of how um, the formula goes for distance to the origin. Um, the distance to a point has that big, long, modulus formula on the top, but when you consider that alpha, beta, and gamma are zero, then it is just your value for d. So in both planes, consider the distance between the origin and then subtract one from the other. So the distance for plane number one is going to be 15 over the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared, which is root 26. Uh, so that's the answer for D1, so that's 15 over root 26. The distance for the second plane is going to be 6 over this um, same modulus, so 6 over root 26. And then do 1 subtract the other, and you get 9 over root 26. Okay, so we're effectively doing this problem by looking at the distance from the origin to both of these planes, and then subtracting one from the other. Now in this question here, we've kind of assumed that both planes are going to be at the same side of the origin to uh, respectively from each other. Um, and we can tell that from this 15 here and this 6 here. Now they're going to be opposite sides of the origin when we have a negative number such as we do in this problem here. So when d, the d value at the back is negative, what happens? Instead of the diagram looking like this, the diagram looks a little bit more like this, where we have an origin in the middle, and then we have the plane on one side, so we'll need to work out this distance here, and we have the other plane on the other side of the origin. And we can tell that this is happening in this specific question because we have one that is positive, one d value that is positive, and we have one d value here that is negative. Okay, so it's going to uh, go in a very similar way. We're going to work out this distance here, this distance here, but this time we're going to add them together. <coughs> so first one <coughs> is 15 over root 26. Second one is going to be minus 9 over root 26. So I suppose we can just still subtract one from the other because when we subtract a negative, we're going to make it positive and it's going to be 24 over root 26. So that's the answer <coughs> to this question here. So just bear in mind that it's not just as easy as doing one distance take away another. Think about what side of the origin they're going to be on and that's going to help you in these types of questions. Right, so your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try this one out. Right, okay then, well done for pausing the video and having a go at this one here. So the first thing we need to work out is the distances for both of these planes to the origin. So in this case here, it's going to be minus 2 over the square root of um, 16, add 1, so 4 squared, add 1 squared, add 7 squared. 
So I suppose that's better doing uh, 49 add 1 is 50, 64. So that's going to be minus 2 over 8. Um, no, 66, isn't it? It doesn't quite work out that nicely. So minus 2 over 66. And then D2 is going to be 12 over uh, 4 squared plus 1 squared plus 7 squared. So that's going to be 12 over root 66. And now because what's going to happen here is we're going to have one plane on top of the origin, one plane much closer to it on the bottom of the origin. We're going to add these two distances together. So it's going to be 12 over root 66. Add 2 over root 66. We get 14 over root 66. And we might as well work out the the um, decimal value of this, we get 1.72. So 1.72 is your answer um, to three significant figures. All right then, so that's how we do these types of questions here. When you know how to do it, it is relatively easy. It's just remembering all of these different techniques that we're building up throughout this whole vectors chapter. Okay, thanks for watching this video.